Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today I'm bringing you a detailed review of the ComCams Stage 2 Extreme Energy XE268H camshafts fitting on 96-04 GT Mustangs. So the Stage 2 XE268H camshafts from Comp should be on the build list of all 96-04 GT owners out there looking to get a good gain in the low to mid range in both horsepower and torque and also want to pick up a noticeable lope at idle. Now we all know that Comp is one of the most trusted names and really is the industry leader in valve train technology so it's a no brainer to look in their direction when shopping for camshafts. Now when you're out there shopping you're really looking to give your single overhead cam two valve motor and improved performance while giving it a nice sound at idle. So this particular Stage 2 cam from Comp is going to offer just that. With this, Comp lets us know that you can expect performance gains all across the power band starting from about 1600 RPMs all the way to about 5600, but you can expect the bulk of that performance gain to be somewhere in the mid to low range like I said earlier. Now looking at the details and specs of this, you can expect it to be a mild street performance cam giving you good power and a noticeable lope at idle without being overbearing with the rough idle you can expect from a stage 4. Now this particular cam will be for the 4.6 liter modified SN95s and will require a few extra parts for proper fitment and max maximum performance. Now Comp recommends picking up a set of CompCam's Beehive valve springs to make sure you're not running into any clearance related issues and in addition to that you should pick up a set of the valve spring retainers from them as well just to make sure you're handling the high pressure springs very properly to handle all the pressure from the cams. Now with that said you want to factor all of these extra parts into the price tag so when you're shopping for cams you can really almost double the price which I'll talk about in just a bit when shopping for these extra parts. Now it's also a good idea to pick up a set of adjustable cam gears to really maximize the performance of your aftermarket camshafts in addition to all the stuff I just mentioned. Adjustable cam gears will allow you the ability to fine tune your camshaft's timing which is definitely beneficial when going with mods that alter or change your camshaft to crankshaft centerline position. Now with all of these parts together you can really maximize the low to mid range power. Now to give you an idea of the power potential of the aftermarket cams, we have customer testimonials claiming 30 horsepower in gains to the wheels and 30 foot pounds of torque with their rides pulling noticeably harder. Now with that said, these gains are varying user to user, but those are the absolute maximum potential of the aftermarket cams I have here today. Now let me throw some numbers at you with the specs of these cams here I have today. Now the stage two cams, you can expect a duration at 50 thousandths of 230 on the intake side and 236 on the exhaust side. Now to compare these numbers to the stock numbers on the 4.6s, the non-PI head guys are looking at about 200 on the intake and 209 on the exhaust. For PI head guys, you're looking at about 201 on the intake, 210 on the exhaust. So you can definitely see the difference with the stage two cams I have here in comparison to the 4.6 liter stock cams. Now the valve lift for the aftermarket cams on the intake and the exhaust side, you're looking at about 0.5 and the lobe lift at 0.274. Now when looking at these numbers and specs, you can definitely see where the improvement comes from when comparing your stock cams to the Stage 2 XE268H camshafts from Comp. Now when looking at these numbers, you can see where the power band improvements come from and the noticeable lope at idle, but you can also see that your Pony will be a street drivable car. Now like I said earlier, just to reiterate, this is a mild street performance cam. Now that's definitely one of the good things about it because you're definitely picking up a lot of decent power, you're picking up a noticeable classic muscle car sound while at the same time keeping it street drivable without having any issues. Now with that said, it is geared for the guys, like I said earlier, for the 4.6s that are modified, something like long tube headers, 323 or 355 gears, but I will say it doesn't require a computer retune, it is completely stock tune compatible, which is definitely one of the better things about this upgrade. Price wise, it can get a little tricky depending on which route you take, but just for the cams alone, what you see on the table here with me today will cost you just about 600 bucks, which is pretty average when comparing it to all the other cam options on the market and the others from Comp. Now it ultimately comes down to what do you expect out of your cam? Now first off, you could be looking for a heavy maximization of power, a lot of gains to the wheels. On the other hand, you could just be looking for a heavy, lopey, rough idle. Now in this case, you're really getting the best of both worlds. You're not going over dramatic with the idle, but it's definitely noticeable, definitely there, and you're picking up the gains at the low to mid range power, which can benefit your power band and also to your wheels. Now if you factor into that price, all the recommendations I mentioned earlier, you're looking at spending about $1,000, maybe even a little more, with the valve spring retainers, the valve springs themselves, and the adjustable cam gears, but that's really all to maximize the potential out of the stage two cams that I have here today. Now keep in mind, you can do without the adjustable cam gears, but I will say it is highly recommended to maximize the performance. I know I keep saying that over and over, but with that in mind, that's where you really get the full potential out of the cams, but if you are trying to save some money, cut back on that $1,000 price, you can probably drop the adjustable cam gears and do just fine. The installation is something you want to take into consideration when shopping for aftermarket cams because it will be labor intensive and will require mechanical expertise. 
You'll have to remove the intake manifold, the valve covers, spark plugs, and crankshaft pulley and really get into digging in. Now with that said, if it's not something you feel comfortable doing yourself, there's definitely no shame in handing it over to the professionals to get done properly, but that will also tack into your cost and what you're spending for the camshafts. The install can run somewhere between $500 to $1,000 in some cases, which gets pretty pricey. Now this is one of those jobs that will take a full day in the shop or in the driveway if you are doing it yourself. I would absolutely give this a three out of three wrenches on the difficulty scale, making it something for the more experienced enthusiast. All right, guys, just to quickly wrap things up, if you're the owner of a 96 to 04 4.6 liter GT Mustang and you're looking for a way to maximize your low to mid range power while also gaining a noticeable idle and keeping your car street friendly, then you might want to check out the CompCams Stage 2 Extreme Energy XE 268H camshafts and all of their maximizing components, all available right here at AmericanMuscle.com.